What if I told you there was a really good chance that the only reason the monkey see monkey do of how we remove governors was so that you had to buy stuff from their sponsor? A lot of old timers have blown up my inbox, my emails, my comments, my whatever with the idea that you do not have to cut this. And their claim in repetitive emails is that the only reason those get cut off is so you have to buy all that top plate junk that YouTubers do for sponsorships. If that's the case, I can't believe it because there are so many people that got conned into buying stuff they didn't need if that's true. The other side to this is this tapered shaft. The reason we're doing this project is to prove or show or figure out if these generator engines could be used on cheap go-karts and cheap uh, bikes and things like that. With that being said, most of them are going to use something like this. We wanted to see whether a regular side panel would fit so that we could be able to put a torque converter on one of these if we really wanted to. The answer is yes, it does fit with some love. I'll post a link for that video down in the description. But we need this to fit. Now, there's nothing new whatsoever about the idea of starting an engine, grabbing a couple of grinders, usually a grinding disc, in this case a flat disc, and usually a flap disc of about 60 grit, and slowly, while the engine is running, turning down the shaft, then you grab a three inch grinder, and you grab your keyway and you start cutting your keyway in. But I ended up with a lot of what if comments. And here's the what if comment that came in. In order to finish cutting that keyway in, most people have to buy really expensive Dremel tool cutoff wheels that they really don't use for anything else other than this one project. You either love a Dremel tool and you use it for everything you possibly can, or the only reason you have a Dremel tool is just to do that one stupid project. This happens to be one of them. What if, well, this side cover was off, it got everything out of the way to grab your cutoff tool and cut all the way down the entire shaft to make your keyway? without ever having to buy a Dremel tool. The other thing about this is we're gonna see whether YouTubers have been lying to us for years. Now, whether it was on purpose or whether it's just a quinky dink, we don't know. But if the old timers are correct, then there are some large YouTubers that have a little bit of explaining to do. Now, let's get this popped open and drain all this oil down in. I'm gonna pull this just a little bit so that the oil will go down. And apparently it's sealed up solid. So let's just make a big giant mess into our kitty litter container below us. There we go. Now I can see a nice silver color coming out in that oil, which we were expecting. If you saw the previous video, you would know why we're expecting to see silver. Now as it is, yeah, that is worn in by running it. It's definitely not pretty, but the previous video on this down in the description will explain why we were looking for that. Now, we're going to be removing the governor. We've already pulled the spark plug out in order to make rotation easy for doing this. And so therefore, we're going to rotate that up because all the old timers claim that at some place around top dead of the piston, 
you should be able to punch that down through and not have to monkey with it. Everybody says to cut this off, punch it down through, and then buy a top plate. But there's a bunch of old-time go-kart guys that say that that is just plain a lie. So now we're going to pull the cotter pin. And at that point, this should move around and it should drop down. And according to the old timers, I should be able to put this screwdriver in here and I should be able to push it down and at some point close to top dead center it should just fall through so so far not happening it is hitting the cam balance right now on this side so actually, right now it's currently stuck and not happy with life. Yep, if anything, it is definitely stuck. It's awful close, though. It does feel like it probably would go. Well, I wonder if we give it a tap. Because at this point, it's an experimental, we don't really care. We've got it lined up, small screwdriver. If we give it a tap, will it drop down in? Oh my word. <laughs> it is. Cutting off the top of this is absolutely unnecessary. That's a riot. All of those times that people cut that off, they never needed to. So at this point, I'm going to grab my bandsaw and I'm going to snip it right here so that I can put this back up in to put the arm back on. But that's a riot. All those times that people cut that off, they never needed to. I wanted to make sure you guys could see exactly where we are. Here's our timing mark on our cam. Here's our timing mark on our crank. So we're up just a little bit. And top dead center is just about right in here. It's close. So what we've done is taken the arm at this point and we cut off the other end of the arm so that we have our pivot. We're going to grab a long pair of pliers and see if we can put it up through the hole just like all the old timers said you could. So now we're going to come in here and we're going to fiddle around. And right there, holy cow, there are a lot of YouTubers that have some explaining to do now. And right back on, just like that. So now we will clamp this down. Help if I turned it the right way. And now that can pivot. Just like we normally would have it. So in here, Right there, you're going to see that we have the governor gear. So I've got one right here to be able to take a look at that came with our side cover kit that we installed in the other video. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this center out. We're going to grab our blowtorch and we're going to stuff it up in there. We're going to heat this thing up, grab it with a pair of pliers and rip it out. When we're done, 
There's going to be this with a hog ring on it that will never ever come off and call it good. All right, here we go. First things first, little center piece comes off. Now with it is going to have a washer. You got to be careful that this actually comes off. Now in the base of it, at this point, right down in there, you're going to see that there's a hog ring on there. We're not going to bother with it. What we're going to do is we're going to heat it up and we're just going to rip everything right out of there and leave the hog ring. Now is a good time to state that if you've been having carburetor issues, this is a bad idea because that would have gas in it. So we're going to hope that I managed to fix the carburetor the other day. All right, not gonna lie, having you guys right in front of me makes this a much harder job than it usually is to do, but we'll get it done. There's the other one. And now we'll just rip the gear apart. There we go. A little smoke across the water there. There we go. So in here, we've got, whoops, let's turn that on. In here, we've got a couple of chunks we're going to pull out. But otherwise than that, we're all set. Well... I'm not going to say that the comments and suggestions were wrong, but I am going to put in one thing. This zip tie is where the seal for the shaft actually sits. So can I grind down through here with this 3 inch? Yes, I probably can, and almost to where the Dremel tool needs to go. Can I grind it down enough that this will actually slide on? We'll bring you back. I actually really like this idea. Except for, I need a 2 inch grinder, not a 3 inch grinder. So with the 3 inch grinder, I actually made it, I could only get to here before. I made it all the way to here. If I had the 2 inch, I could probably make it about another quarter of an inch. But right now I'm just starting to nick that zip tie right where the seal goes. So if we take this, the problem is these have a little bit of a keyway right there. If I ground it out, I bet I could get it to fit all the way on. Now, that's really close. It's going to work for what we're doing. As you can see, it's not overly out from the end. So we're going to call that happy. We did get a few specks of metal in the oil but that's to be expected it's an experiment you can't win them all let's get it buttoned back together and fired up always 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 check your timing before you put your side cover back on always another good viewer question that i've had come in is will the regular throttle plate that's on these the duramaxes a bunch of other clones will it fit on the generator engine and the answer is yes it is a direct bolt up definitely fits if we flip it up we can see where the governor spring attachment is it lines up right exactly where it should be but the one note that I found is that this spring does not cross-reference to the regular Predator. 
So if we grab a regular size spring and we put the two of them next to each other, they're both exactly the same length, but obviously there's more coils in the generator spring than the regular spring. Not sure what kind of difference that actually would make? Please hypothesize in the comments down below. Now that we got it all put together, I came to the realization that the way this throttle plate was set up, it's not like the regular plate, and it actually defaults to pulling it to full throttle. So what I've done is I've taken the spring from here to here, and I've flipped the spring down, and I've attached it to here. Now, by default, it pulls into the idle position, and this would be full throttle. So if you wanted to hook something up to this, you would hook it right here, or anywhere you drilled a hole along here, you could put an attachment there to put a cable and go like this for your throttle. So as it is right now, we're going to see if it'll even idle up. I'm not really sure what to expect. Okay, give it half choke. That wasn't good. Okay, we're going to screw our idle screw in. So I was expecting this to have issues with idling. It's not uncommon after a governor delete. So we're going to screw the idler screw in about a third of a turn. In moving forward with this project, the idea is to be able to take it from a horizontal shaft to a vertical shaft that we can then spin to like seven grand. As it is right now, we needed the governor out of it in order to be able to move to the next step. That's just plain common knowledge. Now we get into the re-engineering of it. I'm going to do an entire separate video on re-engineering ideas and what I think we should do to this in order to go from being a horizontal to a vertical shaft. You guys are welcome to throw as many comments down into the section below on whatever you think about where we're at at the project, but I will be doing a dedicated this is what I'm going to try video coming up very soon probably in the next couple of days. Thanks for supporting this project. We're going to keep experimenting.